Com. See Yellow Think Weather. Marty Coniglio on 9 News. An earthquake near Greeley surprised many of you. We talked to the experts about just how rare a quake in that area is. Then somebody said that a little girl fell in the water, and I was like, oh my God. A young girl loses her life when her family's truck crashes into the swift moving waters of Boulder Creek. A soldier released from Afghanistan after years in captivity. Why his parents say they feel joy and guilt about his freedom. And the son of Broncos legend John Elway faces charges after a weekend arrest. Nine years starts now. I'm Rod Mackey with sports. The Rockies can't wait to come back to Colorado. They need to. Mm -hmm. I'm Cheryl Preheim. And I'm Christine Noel. Well, no shaking in Greeley today, Cheryl. But a lot of people are still talking about yeah, it. Yeah, they are. A 3.4 magnitude earthquake took many of you by surprise last night. Researchers are now focusing on an area about four miles outside of Greeley. They're trying to figure out what caused the earthquake that shook the town and others nearby just after 9.30 last night. Now, we know many of you felt it. You told us on Facebook, Twitter, you called in. And 9 News reporter Steve Stager talked to the USGS today. And Steve, people were feeling this for miles. Yeah, Christine, this is actually a map from the USGS of where people reported feeling this earthquake. You can see it happened here about four miles northeast of Greeley, but you can see from this map that people were feeling it, though very weakly, down in Golden. Now, here's the official seismograph of the 3.4 magnitude quake. The USGS says that with that magnitude, you'll feel an earthquake, but it's unlikely to do any damage. We haven't gotten any reports of damage from the area. Seismologists like Paul Earl are trying to figure out what made the ground shake in this area where earthquakes are rare. In fact, he says the area hasn't seen an earthquake this significant in at least the last 40 years. He says it may seem like a strange event, but it's not uncommon. You can have earthquakes this size just about anywhere um, in the country. Um, one of the possibilities is, is that this is a naturally occurring earthquake due to stresses that have naturally occurred in the truck and within the Earth's crust. And a lot of you asked if fracking had something to do with this earthquake. The USGS says disposal of fracking wastewater can actually cause an earthquake, but it's still too early to tell if that was the case. It's also unclear if that was actually going on here. And a team of geologists are now investigating to try to figure out the cause of that earthquake. Back to you. Yeah, I think a lot of people are going to be interested to see what caused that, Steve. Thank you.